Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Today's uh, this episode is going to be a bit different. Um, so this is going to be a video version as well as a live version. I hope you guys are excited, just as excited as I am. Today, if you can't see, I am wearing a Liverpool jersey. Um, since I love the club with all my heart. I've been following them since uh, 2013. You can not you can say I'm a pretty um, recent follower, but... As soon as I started following, I, I went back to the 70s and 80s to find out the history of the club, and I love it with all my heart. Like the heartbroken determination that we have within the club and within our success rates, and how we can improve and develop has been very important for us. So, I'm going to focus on the 2020 2021 season, and I'm going to look at players who I think did a fantastic job. I'm going to look at every single player within the first team, and then I'm going to take a look at the youth team. And players were who did the fantastic job. All right. So, firstly, we have um, um, Allison. I think Allison did a fantastic job for us this season. Um, granted, it was injured for the majority of the season. Um, majority, and then he came back, and it was difficult seeing him play because for a while we didn't know that he had um, his his father had passed away, and he and he. No, uh, the thing is that his father wasn't in a bad condition beforehand. But just one day he sadly drowned, and um, uh, Allison definitely had his uh, his moment to shine when he scored a goal in the um, uh, in the essential match against West Brom, which I'll be talking about quite soon in this episode as well. We have Adrian, who I think did fine, but we know he's definitely gonna go this season. He's 34 years old, he's much, much older than Allison, who is 28 years old, and he is not as proficient and as essential as a goalie. We can always get young, younger players to perform, and now since we have Kumin Kelleher as the essential goalie, and Marcelo Pateruga, who is signed from Fluminense, we definitely have an opportunity to improve and develop ourselves. Alright, so now I want to take a look at another player who I think is fantastic we're going to take a look at defense now right? so we have uh, players like uh, Van Dijk who is our number 4 and number 4 is typically the number 4 uh, center back uh, Joe Gomez who are number 12 um, they were fine this season except they were sadly hit with injuries that ended their season prematurely um, Ozan Kaba came on loan but it seems like he's going to be going back to Schalke and maybe potentially back to the Premier League, but not with us, with someone else. And um, so we'll be signing two players, as far as I know. Jonathan Ikone from Lille, as well as uh, Ibrahim Konate from um, from uh, RB Leipzig. And the good thing is that he already knows Naby Keita, and, and I want to see, as I want to see Naby Keita get a few more minutes and prove to Jurgen Klopp that he can do it. Because I know, I know deep down, this guy is, he's fit. He can prove his worth. He has definitely proved his worth in the season beforehand. And he needs to stay fit and fight this and improve. We know he has the hero to do so. We only have Costa Simakas, who played only seven games for us. He was fine, to be honest, but he has to play. He has to play the next season. He has to get a few minutes under his belt. Um, then we have... Um, the Scottish lad, we have uh, Andrew Robertson or Robo, as they call him. He's twenty-seven years old, um, which is which is good, but he still has. We, we, we could still like get a younger player. The the thing is like that's where we have Costa Simicas, but Simicas is only two years younger, so Simicas has to really prove himself on um, the preseason to prove his worth for us. That's the most important thing, I believe. Um, and we have Ben Davies, who is signed from Preston North End. He's 25 years old, fairly young, has potential to improve. Um, but we have to see him play. I don't know why he hasn't played at all, though. He's such a good and talented uh, championship player. I don't know why Klopp hasn't put him onto the team. But we'll see, soon sure enough. Anyway, then we have uh, Reese Williams and we have Joel Matip, um, who is nearly 30 years old. Who I think this might be his last season. We'll see if he is, stays on loan. Or if we sell him, then we have Reese Williams, who is a 20-year-old, 20, who um, last year he was in a non-league side called uh, uh, God, uh, Kitterminster, and they were he did fine there. He did even better here, playing against the likes of Manchester United, uh, as well as um, 
in the Champions League matches, and he proved his worth. He definitely is so much to look forward to. And we had the Tango Phillips, who did essentially extremely well this season, um, filling in as a makeshift center back partnership between him. Was not come back at times Fabinho and sometimes even Jordan Henderson, which did not work well in our favor. He has scored a goal and assisted a goal. He scored a goal against Burnley and assisted a goal for Jogo Jota, who we'll be talking about quite soon, in our match against uh, Manchester United, which he beat them 4 2. Thanks to Tally, he did give his own goal away, but he definitely made up for it later on in the match. That's the good thing about him. Like, if he makes a mistake, he makes up for it instantly. And we have Trent Alexander Arnold, who's nearing 200 matches, who I think is going to be a one club man, to be honest. Scored 10 goals in his season so far, and 43 assists, which is fantastic for a defender. You don't, you don't usually see defenders with that numbers. You usually see midfielders with those kind of numbers, and we'll talk about that quite soon, to be honest. Um, and we have, uh, f- uh, so we have Nico Williams with 25 uh, matches played and two assists. He is a Welsh player. He is someone I'm definitely looking forward to since he is two years younger than Trent. Hopefully, he's able to push Trent in that position since we don't have that many good right backs, to be honest. Um, then we have ourselves the midfield. So we have Fabinho, Brazilian player, really well. Great uh, defensive midfielder and great center back potentially as well. Um, uh, saved our hide many times this season. Then we have Gino Wijnaldum, the um, the Dutch player who is set to leave any time now. Well, I'm I'm not going to consider him a player, a Liverpool player, as of anymore. But it's good to see that his his time here was well spent, and he helped us push for Champions League every single season. Now we have Thiago from Bayern Munich, who did a fantastic job this season, but he is quite old, and if we do sell him, it, we're going to get a whole lot of cash, to be honest. Then we have James Milner, for, who is set to retire maybe soon, quite soon, to be honest. Uh, 250 appearances, he's an absolute engine at the back. Um, you had Naby Keita, Naby Keita is a very good player. Uh, it seems like he wants to leave though, but I think if we push him and prove to him that he has the potential to improve, he will say for sure. Jordan Henderson with nearly 400 appearances. The the captain, he, I, I think he's going to stay longer than James Milner is going to stay. Um, we have Chamberlain. Chamberlain is a good player as well. Um, he, he's good, but he's too injury prone, to be honest. Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones is an excellent player for us. Uh, one from the academy. As well as Jordan Shakiri. Shakiri, I think, is going to be sold anytime soon, to be honest. Uh, getting older, not that good and that agile. But we'll see. Finally, we have the forwards. So I have Bobby Firmino. Um, did decently well this season. Sadio Mane did okay this season. Salah did exceptionally well this season, once again proving his worth. Uh, nearing uh, 150 goals. He's at 125, so halfway there. But if we go based on what he can do this season, he can definitely improve. We have Jogo Jota. Jogo Jota has been fantastic for us this season. Came in, scored 13 goals and one assist in one season, which is amazing. Finally, we have Divock Origi, who played 157 games for us, um, but it seems like he's going to retire sometime soon, to be honest, um, unless he proves his worth for us. But we need we need flashy players, players who are able to prove their worth. Um, other than that, we do have to talk about some of the key games we've played. So we have games against... Um, so we ended up the season in third, which was fantastic because at some point we were we were terrible, we were dreadful. We lost nine games and won only twenty. Drew nine, which granted some of those draws were unfair, particularly the Everton draw. Um, and so yeah, okay. So like the lowest position we were in was in se- was in eighth by the twenty eighth game week, and then we we won every game. Until the end, until like the last match day, but we only drew two, and those two draws under thirty second, and yeah, so yeah, so it was against Leeds and Newcastle. So okay, so against Leeds we could have made it easier for ourselves, and against Newcastle we we should have won the game. To be honest, we let that one slip, um, but that was only ourselves to blame. To be honest, for that one, um, as sadly for um. 
for the next round, we did lose to... Uh, so, for the Champions League, we lost to Real Madrid in the quarterfinals, which certainly was not something we were proud of and, and happy for. But it's something we had to look forward to. So, overall, the team scored 53 goals. That's including players like Marco Gruic, Takumi Minamino, William Brewster, Harry Wilson, and Harvey Elliott. We scored 53 goals. We um, yeah, scored and... Yeah, yeah so we... God. Um, they, they did pretty well. Um, so far, to be honest. I mean, they're... Uh, no, actually, 53 appearances. Good Lord. Um, as for the goals, yeah, it was 97 goals. Um, and for the assists... Uh, God, as far as I... It's way, way too many assists. Like, um, I'd say much around 97, if not lower than 97. We had 20 clean sheets, which was really good. Um, we had had a red card, which which makes it, which makes it likely for us to receive uh, a, um, a sportsmanship awards, um, and that's it for the first team. As for the second team, which is called the reserves or the academy. We have key players like uh, Liam Miller, the fantastic for us. Joe Hardy goes great. Elijah Dixon Bonner, Paul Glatzel, Longstaff, um, 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 Harvey Davies was great for us. Um, uh, Rami Savage, um, Matteo Ditaccio, uh, Orrin Beck, Jake Kane, Leighton Clarkson, um, Morgan Boys, Billy Comatio, Adam Lewis, um, Mel Camel Frauendorf, Kate Gordon. Harvey Blair, um, Max Voltman, um, God, uh, James Norris, Thomas Hill, Tyler Morton, um, Fabian Rosek, Marcelo Pedruga, and I don't know why the U18s players aren't here. That's odd, though. It's also Vitislav Jaros and uh, uh, Anderson Arroyo, but these guys were really, really good for us. And they definitely prove their worth, and we we like we know just how essential they would do us. Um, so as of recently, we have had quality players who've actually graduated from since like since twenty ten. We've had Andre Wisdom, Brad Smith, Jack Robinson, um, uh, as well as uh, John Flanagan, Jordan I, Ibrahim Sterling, Suso. Shay Ojo, Harry Wilson, Trent Alexander Arnold, Ben Woodburn, Curtis Jones, Nico Williams, Reese Williams, and Tyler Phillips. Um, and other than that, I mean, we've had great players as well who came, um, who, who we signed from a different academy, who played for us and proved their worth. Um, we definitely know just how essential they've been for us, to be honest. We know just how awesome they've been. And that's been it for today, to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, you guys have been really supportive of the channel and everything, and I'm hoping on making more videos like this. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm making, and hope you guys have a good day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.